there comes a time when you really, really don't want to end up having to do this. Especially when it concerns religion and you're a person that's, well, an atheist. Because you always wonder what people are going to think about you. But when you're somebody like me, you really just come to the terms that, wait, I don't give a shit, and you just gotta do it. This video is going to criticize, well, a Catholic group leader. Now, this is not an attack against Catholics themselves. If I really wanted to, I could attack Catholics on just about every hypocrisy and other issues going on within the Catholic Church. The the whole thing about how you're not doing anything about the raping of little kids thing. But I'm not going to go there in this video. I'll save that for some for something else when, you know, that time comes around. But seriously, y'all might want to do something about that too. But anyway, um, I was reading an article. Granted, it comes from the Atheist Republic. But the article was pretty much the only thing that I could find out there, pretty much. Because other mainstream media, obviously, they don't cover it. And there's a lot of other articles, including from Huffington Post and things like that, that did not even cover it themselves. So basically, the mainstream media remained pretty dead silent on this. It was a Catholic group leader by the name of Austin Roos, who is the president of the Catholic Family and Human Rights Institute, who literally said that liberal academics should all be taken out and shot. Yeah, I, I'm not even lying about that. He act, There's actually a video from AOL that is actually in this Atheist Republic article. He literally is giving this sermon where he says that people should be taken out and murdered for simply having a particular belief on things, having a different belief than you. He was speaking on a American Family radio show on March 12th. Now, Ruse had, was filling in for host Sandy Rios on Wednesday, and he was discussing the case of a Duke University student who was recently ousted for being a porn actress. Now, I have not necessarily taken, taken an anti-porn stance like a lot of feminists usually do. I do believe that porn does exploit women. It's part of that capitalist system. Porn, um, pornography exploits women, and it obviously is can also lead to a lot of addictions and desensitization and all sorts of things. So porn, by any means, yes, it can be harmful, and yes, it is exploitive. It's part of the capitalist system. However, do I deny that women should, who want, who voluntarily go into it should be denied that line of work? Not necessarily. Women should be empowered to do whatever they think they want to do. I don't necessarily believe porn is the best idea to go into, but that is, but, you know, I'm not anti-pornography. You know, and that has nothing to do with me being a guy in any way. That's just a personal stance. Now, the thing was that Ruse said that this was the toxic stew of the modern university, and includes program and was talking about programs like sex education and women's studies. Like he literally goes on the thing on the radio and talks about that it's nonsense that they teach it, that they it's nonsense that they teach in women's studies at Duke University that is where she learned this the toxic stew of the modern university is gender studies so he literally goes out there and says that women's studies is basically a toxic stew that it basically is teaching women to oh yeah go out there and be promiscuous go out there and you know all that type of stuff Whereas 
women's studies, gender studies, much like the studies of African American studies, Mexican American studies, Chicano studies, Latino, uh, Latino studies, um, Asian studies, whatever the case may be, they're not to promote any sort of agenda of promoting, you know, like sex or promoting racial tension or anything like that. Quite the opposite. They empower people to actually learn about diversity and actually learn that, yeah, white men typically are the ones that dominate the world. And that with that in mind, it is our job to learn from that and make progress and make goals to overcome that and actually make sure that, you know, white women, black women, black men, Asian women, Asian men, Latino women, Latino men, blah, 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 that they all have an equal equal footing. But this man literally goes out there and attacks not only women's studies, but attacks women in general, saying that their rights don't mean a damn thing. Like, he literally seems to imply this and says that anybody that goes out there and learns about this stuff should be shot. That basically this should not be what's being taught to anybody. Th that is a complete... This, this is the problem with religious indoctrination. This is the problem of right-wing religious extremism that it brings out the most fascist of nature it brings out the worst in people it really does this is a prime example now his radio segment has since been unavailable on the American Family Radio's website gee I wonder why maybe because you got a little backlash because of it yeah I wouldn't really put it past people with the fact that even though the right wing people tend to have very low intelligence and are very less educated than the left typically tends to uh, leave that in there but right wing watch made a note of his inappropriate comments and that's where you know his quote kinda came out of and so because of it the video did end up being showed up um, on AOL and you can go visit that now, what's interesting to note here, I'm going to make this kind of a uh, end note. It was only within the last month that the Catholic Family and Human Rights Institute was actually added to the Southern Poverty Law Center's list titled Active Anti-LGBT Groups. So it is also interesting to note that this man, who is basically the leader of this group, is, quite frankly openly anti-gay and that his organization is anti oh, is anti-gay openly anti-gay so I find that quite interesting that not only does he go out and attack women he goes out and attacks LGBT people so yeah let's kind of break that down a person in an organization that's anti-women anti-gay probably with all that probably doesn't believe in in certain rights and in this case studies of other cultures and religions and quite frankly people of anything else other than being white yeah I, yeah I think there is a party in America called that called the Tea Party and I think it's closely it closely resembles that of a party that was in in Germany during 19 33 to about 1945. What party was that again? Hmm. Maybe you can help me out on that one. Anyway, I'm just kind of referring to the very fact that this came off quite interesting. Now, by no means am I siding with liberals necessarily. How it because I don't believe in the liberal political philosophy. However, I do actually side with the liberals in this case. I do actually come to their defense because 
whenever somebody basically is attacking someone of the liberal agenda, it typically that does trigger a response because usually when they're going after liberals, they're also attacking socialists as well. In fact, if anything, if they're calling for liberals to be shot, then they're probably asking for communists and socialists, Marxists, to essentially pretty much be burned at the stake. That is literally... What he's literally advocating in massacring liberal academics is what I would basically describe as, you know, getting rid of your political opponents, getting rid of, and pretty much what I would call a political witch hunt. It's literally a political Salem. Now, in doing so, he's really advocating a very extremist view of right-wing politics, of right-wing religious academics. He's literally saying that women's studies don't matter and that they, it's because pretty much it's advocating this promiscuality, this promiscuous behavior. It's promoting this devilish behavior. So, and that quote from his actual article, I do hope that they go to a Christian college or university and to keep them so far away from the hard left human-hating people that run modern universities, we should all be taken out and shot. This is something he literally ended on. This is something that you can actually view. He actually has his... There's actually a sound clip, and there's actually a video of him actually saying all this. You can go to the website at atheistrepublic.com. I will actually provide the link in the description, and you can actually go and see it. Because what this man is literally advocating was quite infuriating to me, as well as just very, very dystopian. It's one of those things that I have to say kind of follows that line of what Lenin warned, warned us about. Fascism is capitalism in decay. And that is what we are seeing. In the modern society, the capitalist system is breaking apart, and we are seeing the rise in fascism much like this. It can be on a large political scale, like we're seeing in Ukraine, or it can be on a very low scale that can happen just within the Catholic Church. That's not to say that the Catholic Church itself is fascist, but that is saying that there are people in it that are very extremist. I'm NorCal Nick, leader of the revolutionist movement, and this has been NorCal Corner. Peace. <laughs>